All right, so it is currently 6.59 in the morning. I just woke up at 6, and I forgot that I wanted to make a video about this. For drama that you would see on the internet, it's either expected or unexpected, but there is some type of drama that is so unexpected, yet funny at the same time, to talk about and make a video about to give your thoughts on it. And the drama that I'm talking about that's happened on the internet is furry drama. Now, furry drama is something that I used to talk about back in 2021. Unfortunately, I have became part of the furry fandom. I say unfortunately in a very loose way because unfortunately I became part of the furry fandom back in 2021 and I left after staying there for nine months because I had thoughts of killing myself. The community itself was like eating itself, eating each other with just the most minimalist things and just things that I am not really fond with, with how I see them as something that's so normalized in the community that made me feel very uncomfortable. I made a whole video about it. I leave that in the link of the description now the click is a content creator that i did mention in my video but it's more of just something of the videos that i watched while i was being part of the furry fandom but it's just something that is in relation to this sort of furry drama is something that is put as not crediting a person's artwork that was being mentioned in the clicks video the youtube video that the click uploaded called r slash furry irl gender dlc rainbow emoji with the twitter user named Cass saying apparently this random youtuber dubbed my entire comic in this video okay then i make a tweet saying the click being part of furry drama wasn't something i expected in my 2024 bingo now to let you guys know i don't watch the click anymore because i'm trying to move on from my embarrassing past being a furry back in 2021 wasn't something that i'm proud of and it's something that i don't want to be known for until i unfortunately passed away from natural causes i mean if there's any furry consequences that want to interview me in the discord call i'd be happy to do so it's just that my past being a furry isn't really something that i'm proud of or something that i want to be open about I'm Unless if I feel comfortable talking about it when I'm being asked in an interview. So in this tweet, all right, the click being part of furry drama wasn't something that I was expecting in my 2024 bingo card. And it's hilarious because the one thing you were not expecting for something to happen, for a content creator to become part of when it involves with crediting an artist's work. Now, crediting an artist's work is probably the one thing that I feel like everybody just misinterprets that sentence because it's something that not just a lot of artists on Twitter but like in any other social media platform that they that they can post their content and they hate that because with the amount of hours that they spend on this specific project whether it's an animation or an art piece they hate the fact that it's being stolen and it's not being shown on the specific target audience from their followers it's being shown on a different target audience that's outside of their followers that don't know the artist's content that they post that explains the random influx of followers I guess I am now learning about quote unquote the click never heard of them in my life but they are following me on twitter so thank you mr the click because people want the comic i have an official page for it now haha <laughs> read it here it did even create the comic originally by the way i got lucky because somebody in his reddit complained two days later and he decided to add it to the description hasn't credited all the other artists in the video either really weird guy not a fan of this reddit slop at all <laughs> well isn't this interesting some furry drama with the click for not crediting an artist's work now again i understand why the artists feel this way all right when the artwork is being taken and used for something that is quite the opposite of what they post on their socials and not being credited when the credit's being given and should be given when it's being shown from a different content creator that has a larger fan base. And listen, I understand why this person takes it very personal because of how much it means to him, all right? Any art piece that he posts, he wants to share it to his target audience and hopefully make that a career. All right. But then when a content creator with a larger fan base has a lot more interactions of his work than his followers, it's pretty infuriating. Not like not even trying to make that as dramatic as it sounds. It's something that I feel like every artist has to deal with online. The click responded to the tweet two days later. Shocker. He says, hey, Cass, I'm sorry if my coverage made you uncomfortable. I had quote unquote falsely assumed the person who reposted the comic was also the creator. A viewer had let me know your tag so I could add the link. I will gladly remove it if you prefer. Cass replied to the click's reply saying, Saying, here's a list of the artists from the first 10 minutes of your video. I spent five minutes reverse image searching them by screenshotting your vid. So it'd probably be even faster to do it yourself. I don't care about you removing my stuff. Credit people, dude, lol. Damn, my boy, he really put you on the spot, huh? But again, it is important to credit the artist's work, whether you're doing these posts on Reddit. And I find it pretty funny he calls it Reddit slop. Let's just be honest, it is Reddit slop. I don't think, I honestly don't think people still watch these kinds of videos, except for the fans of the 
to click, which I don't watch for the sake of trying to move on from my past. But again, this is pretty funny controversy that I found out about this. And I forgot to make a video about it too. Yesterday, I was so bored. I was like, damn, I want to make another video, but there's really something to talk about. It's like slow news for a commentary YouTuber, I should say. And I just remembered, oh yeah, I wanted to make a video about this and I forgot to make a video about it. So yeah, that's about it. If you guys want to see my video of me talking about why I didn't like being part of Furry Phantom, I'll leave that in, in, the link in, the, in the link in the description. The video really isn't personal to the people that I'm mutuals with. They're also part of the Furry Fandom or the content creators that are also that I just found out they're part of the Furry Fandom. This is more of a video that talks about my experience and why I find it hard to trust people that I find new content creators that I discovered and are also part of the Furry Fandom with the way that I experienced the Furry Fandom for myself. It's a pretty interesting video. I suggest you guys to watch it. I got a lot of mixed reviews, but a lot of people really did understand my point of view of how I felt being the Furry Fandom in the, in the comments section. For that being said, this is Wolf Dog Gray, and I will see you guys later. See ya.